heard it was an amazing show. Absolutely. First rate. Amazing. So my first question is, where do you feel most inspired? Would you say on Broadway or in Paris? That has nothing to do with it. I think, it, no, any old stage is the same. Yeah. When the lights go down, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You forget. You work just as hard, and you can have just as special a night in any place. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now, I know you are a Tony Award nominee, and you've won three Dora Awards, and multiple other awards, so what would you say, um, which award do you think means the most to you, and why? Um, I think getting an honorary doctorate of music from my alma mater, Western University. Wow. That, yeah? Oh man, that was cool. And that made me cry, as opposed to, well, all the others are great too, but that meant that much more to me. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> what would you say that your defining role of your career has been? Uh, I don't know. I th for me, I think, I think Mrs. Johnstone and Blood Brothers that I did in Hyde Park. Oh my God! That was the first time I think in Toronto that I uh, publicly sort of did something that got enough attention. Great critiques in the paper and it was like, okay, this girl can act as well as sing, you know, for the first time. So I think that's the thing that sort of got me going. Yeah. How about Edith? Yeah. Yeah, that would be the next one. That was the toughest one. I think that's the toughest thing I've ever done. There's no doubt about that. I lost weight doing that show. Oh man, that was hard. But uh, because of the way the script was too and all those scenes and the big breakdowns and the big drug addict crazy scenes and oh my goodness and I never left the stage and I sang about 20 songs and it was hard but you know by the time I took my bow I felt like I'd really shown what I could do you know there was nothing more I needed to give. <laughs> now do you think you actually prefer to sing sad songs or happy songs? Sad songs! <laughs> For sure! Come on! No happy ones are fun too but there's just something uh, you go deeper, that's all. When you're singing those other ones, it's, uh, I don't I mean, I can go to that wonderful place too when I'm singing something happy like Mila, you know, that's really cool. You know, just go. But, oh, uh, man, Mama Mia. But the man that got away, forget it, no contest. You know? I'll take the man that got away any day. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you think there is actually a song that wasn't specifically written for you, but you feel that it was? The man that got away. <laughs> um, a song like You and I, the, which I did it as a, a little encore there, that little song to me, that's, oh, that's, that's like my song. You know? I, yeah. I know it's not, but yeah. it feels that way to me. Yeah, once in a while you find a song that you feel really suits you. And when you are composing and writing, do you tend to think in French or in English? Uh, depends what language I'm writing in. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I stopped translating a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you're actually collaborating with your husband right yeah. now, right? On a new musical? We actually did it. We, yeah. uh, it's called Could You Wait and it's a World War II love story. And it's... Uh, Anyone seen it? Yeah, we did it at Theatre London, at the Grand Theatre, and uh, at Theatre Orangeville. It's really sweet. It's a two-hander, just Joe and I, and Diane Leah, who played piano tonight, plays the piano as well and does a lot of underscoring. It's a really sweet story. Joe wrote the script, and it's all old songs like uh, White Cliffs of Dover, We'll Meet Again, and then there are three, four original songs that we wrote in the style of those old songs. It's really sweet, yeah. And we're working on some other ones. He's writing, he's got a million ideas for shows. He's got about five scripts on the go. Now, who's the better actor, you or your husband? Oh, come on. No <laughs> <laughs> way. I am, yeah, sure. Because <laughs> he's over there, he can't hear me. Yeah, I'm the better one. <laughs> so what would you say his strengths are as an actor? He's still not looking, is he? And uh, your strengths? Maybe start with um, yours right now, because he's not looking. <laughs> no, he's a good actor. He's a, he's a good actor. He's a better dancer than I am, that's for sure. Um, he was a journalist to begin with, so he's writing is his, his big thing. But he 
loves being on. He's in Jersey Boys right now. He's oh, in the ensemble oh, of that oh, show. Yeah. Awesome. Now, what do you think has been the most surprising part of it, about your career? Getting Mamma Mia. How many people here saw Mamma Mia? <laughs> yeah, amazing. That's not the kind of show I would have thought I would ever do. It's just not the kind of music I would have thought I'd even want to sing. So it was just the biggest surprise. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. Did you love it more than you ever thought you would? Or? Uh, for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I did it a long time. And it was great because it was so nice to be in something that everybody loved so much. And it was a happy show. And that was nice, too. I tend to do a lot of pretty dramatic stuff. It was nice for a change to just walk off the stage just feeling happy, you know? And it was it was really. And to go to New York, wow, that was pretty cool. But then I did it there two years, and I have to say, by then, you know, it was my third year doing the show, so any show, I don't care how good it is, uh, you get to the point where I think you've had enough, you know, that's all. You need to sing something else, and say other lines, you know? <laughs> yeah. Is there actually a role that you still really want to do, that you haven't? I would like to play me. I love that musical. It's great. I don't know why no one does it. I would like to play Mama Rose and Gypsy, there's no doubt about that. And I'd love to do applause, which needs, I mean, the, you know, uh, Lauren McCall started in that show. It's a really cool show, but I, it's dated a bit maybe, but it's a great script. It's, it's based on the movie All About Eve, you know, that, that script, the old Betty Davis movie. It's great. Yeah, there are three of those. There you go. <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever been given? Uh, Rob Wellen, who has passed away since, at the very beginning, I did this uh, review with him, and I was singing, it was all sung stuff, and I was singing Maybe This Time, which is a big song from Cabaret. And when you're young, you just want to sing the hell out of everything. You know, you've got no, no holding back, you don't understand that you have to shape a song, and you have to hold back, and then when you finally give it, it means something, and it pays off. And he said to me, I don't want to hear anything above mezzo forte until we get three quarters through that song. You just stand there, you don't move, and just quietly deliver those words. And I, that is the best advice I've ever given. You don't just sing your guts out all the way through, because then you hit the big note, and it doesn't mean a thing, because you've already heard the 30 big notes. Who cares? Great piece of advice. <laughs>